It's out there. Listen. It's out there for now. What if it decides to come in after us? Maybe we're okay if we stay inside the church. Because? Because it's holy ground. A church? Maybe it can't come in. Really? It's a fucking vampire now? I'm just saying, this is a solid building. He's right. We're safer in here. We're staying put. I guess staying makes some kind of sense, right? Y you think that's our best move? We are staying in here. No choice. We should take off while we still can. That thing has us boxed in. No one else agrees with you. Staying in here is the majority decision. We can't be splitting up again. After what happened to Angela? Sure, whatever. But this doesn't feel right to me. Sounds like more than one. Fucking great! Just listen up. Kind of want to explore first. Oh. It actually looks like Simon Carver's name is crossed off. Else important in here? It is. No way. This has got to be the preacher who's been popping up all over. Oh, this is 1971, which was around the time that family died, right? Didn't they die in maybe 1972? Uh, recently, parents have expressed concern that their teenage children are being tempted by the occult in musical lyrics by innocent seeming spirit boards or movies that glorify Satanism. This is not the first time Little Hope has been scourged by occultism. Interesting. Just sort of go slow in case you feel like trying to read it. Um, oh, it goes on later that and says, uh, but parents should be mindful of the fascination these things hold for the young, particularly rebellious youths. All right. Interesting. It makes me wonder if that little girl just sort of thought. Maybe she had like an imaginary friend that seemed <laughs> sort of creepy and spooky, but wasn't actually there.
We gotta do something now. Hold on, William. We need to be calm. Fuck calm. Taylor's in trouble. I lost you. We're still in big trouble here. Recklessness. I need a break. No time. We gotta keep moving. Can't stop. No, wait. He needs a break. Forget it. Those things are coming after us, not you. We can't hang around. None of us is safe. Not tonight. All right. What's our next move? I'm not sure. We should rest here for a while. Sleep? That's impressive. I wish. No way I could get any shut eye after what went down tonight. Would love to, though. I'm beat. Any ideas how we're getting out of here? Uh, the fog has us surrounded. There's no way through. We can't just do nothing. We need to figure out where the fog is coming from. I think the kid, Mary, is the key to finding a way through it. Getting to Mary, stopping her, might help. Sure, okay, but what about the other kid? The one that keeps running from us? Mary and her are connected somehow, I'm sure of it. Maybe the other girl is trying to lead us somewhere. Where? I don't know. Maybe to a place we can stop all this. Everything feels out of control. I don't think there's anything we can do at this point. Mary's the key to everything that's happened. The trials, the executions. Sure, but how are we supposed to stop her? Not even sure she's real. <laughs> Too late for us to do anything now. Fat it. This is over. We have to try. We owe it to the others. And ourselves. Mary's the key to this. I'm certain of it. It's not that simple. And like you said, she's just a kid. We can't... Listen to me. We see her again. We do whatever is necessary. <laughs> okay. Time out is up. We can't stay here any longer. Wait. This place is safe, though. Is leaving such a smart idea? We won't find Mary sitting on her asses. We need to go out and look for her. Not sure hunting Mary down is a great move, but I guess we should stick together.
Professor! You there? Daniel? Taylor? Daniel, that you? can doubt that, but we need to keep moving if we want to get out of this place. We have to go right now! It is better to conquer yourself than to win a thousand battles. Then the victory is yours. It cannot be taken from you. Not by angels or by demons. Heaven or hell. Perhaps you've started to realize something. But everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. Three executions, three tormented beings, and two lost souls. Any thoughts on what might be around the corner, hidden by the fog? Something wicked this way comes. Keep a lookout for the girl. We have to stop her. Get real. We're screwed. We're all getting taken out. Only a matter of time. Keep your eyes and ears open. Fireflies. That's what's causing the glow. What is that light? Looks kind of beautiful, don't you think? Never thought I'd say that about anything here. No, this cannot be. 
My own eyes deceive me. My apologies for the lateness of the hour, but I must speak with you. What ails you, my friend? It is Mary. I am troubled by her, by the part she has played in these trials. Those trials trouble us all. There is more to this. I saw her smile as her own sister was executed. She took pleasure from it. Are you certain? I am. But now that she speaks of guilt and remorse, it is hard not to believe her. Keep away from her, Abraham. No good can come from being with that child. Too late. With her brother and sister gone, Mary now lives under my roof. Your charity places you. One second, y'all. I hear something. My goodness, my neighbors are playing music so loud, I thought it was coming from my house. Brave danger. What do you advise? Tell the court you suspect she toys with us all, that you saw her delight in her own sister's death. I implore you. I am torn. Mary seems full of remorse. Keep suspicions to yourself, and it's our community which will suffer. None of us is safe from her wild imaginings. Very well. If the court will listen, I will speak. I am bewitched. You're not bewitched. How else can your presence be explained? I, I can't explain this, but you're not. She has conjured you to defend her. To press me into silence. Only the devil could create a demon who so resembles me. I'm not a demon. But we do look alike, which I agree is pretty damn weird. What do you want from me? I want to know what you're going to say to the court. About Mary. I was decided to speak to the court. Now I'm not so sure. Tell the court what the girl has done. It's what your friend asked of you. The devil has sent you to tempt me. I must not succumb. Little Hope is no longer the town I knew. Strange and disturbing events have become commonplace. You, whatever you are, are but one of these. Revealing the truth about Mary may save my friend, but it does not sit easily with me that in doing so I condemn a child. I feel like the priest is the villain. That's what I'm Putting it all on a kid isn't right. The priest is the one driving this whole thing. Are you serious? The girl is the one we need to stop, not anyone else. Reverend Carver is a man guided by God. No one can doubt that. What the hell were you thinking speaking up for that kid? You may have just sentenced us both to death. I don't know what's right or wrong anymore. Nothing here makes sense. Mary is no ordinary child. If we want to get out of this, she has to be stopped. Maybe we'll see him again, get him to change his mind. I made the right call. I have no doubts. We are seeing glimpses of what happened here hundreds of years ago. Never thought I'd say this, but I feel real connected with those guys. Fuck this town and fuck that stupid ass crash for dumping me here.
Taylor, where are you? I'm coming! I'm coming! Shit! Taylor! Professor! I got you! Just hold on to me! I'm sorry! I can't! Get everyone away from here! No! Hold on tight! <laughs> You okay? You hurt? What the fuck was that thing? Let's just get out of here. Let's check that out. It'll get us out of these damn woods, and we can talk on the way. I'm really surprised she... Whatever that thing was, I think it's gone. What went on back there? No clue. Whatever we saw back there, or thought we saw, we're still in grave danger. There must be something we can do. Mary's in the middle of all this, that I'm certain of. We don't know for sure that stopping Mary will help us out. It's just a theory. to help or this theory is all we've got i don't like either of those i haven't i haven't done that Come on. yet let's Ooh, take a look do nothing. oh i'm having deja vu me too i recognize this place it's the house no some sort of factory why are they having deja vu Protest will surely escalate as closure looms. All right. Carver, email six 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 for our future prosperity, Samuel Carver. Oh, interesting. Interesting. It makes me wonder if the name of the pastor is also named Carver because people thought the mayor was the devil. It's sort of linked. 
There's a way in here. Hey! Him. That guy's a menace. I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. Come on, inside. Well, no one's been here for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> It's my time to speak before the judge. Maybe we're finally getting somewhere. I am filled with dread. I cannot know how my testimony will be received. The devil has blinded so many to what is real and what is not. Nothing good will come of this. His words will seek to twist the truth. Allow me to judge what is true. Abraham and Joseph are allies in this deception. And lest we forget, you condemned Joseph to death only yesterday. Or do you now question that decision? I have heard nothing today to sway my conviction. Joseph consorted with the same malicious force as his wife. For this the court thanks Reverend Carver who faced the devil's wrath to present the evidence. It is only my duty, Judge. Now, however, this court is duty bound by law to seek out the truth. We must therefore examine these claims made by Abraham against Mary. If I may speak briefly, Judge Wyman. Time is short, Reverend. Be indeed brief. Mary has shown great fortitude to speak out against the evil here. Many would have lacked her courage. Yet her reward for exposing this brooding covered in our midst is to be besmirched. Her courage is not in question. It is her intent we must be certain of. Her accuser is the very man entrusted to care for this innocent child. Plain to see he is not fit for such a task. And I would ask the court to have Mary placed elsewhere. Who would you have be her new ward, Reverend? I am prepared to take responsibility for the child. If the court agrees. First the court must hear what Abraham has to say. No decision can be made on the child until then. Abraham! What am I to do? Some would have me speak out against Mary, but could a child truly be capable of such evil? Don't think so. I understand your dilemma. The consequences couldn't be more serious, but the girl is so young. Tell the court what you have come here to say. Speak up, boy. Out with it! Mary has spoken of evil spirits, devilry and witchcraft. Things many cannot believe could exist here in the I'm not here for history and hearsay. Get to the point, boy. Mary is tormented. The apparitions she has seen, they have plagued her. Stolen her innocence. Some suggest she is in league with these creatures, but no one can be certain. Myself least of all. Can any of us truly know a child's mind? You claim I lack the ability to see the truth. I beg forgiveness. I would never suggest such a thing. My time is not for wasting. You and the priest have irked me enough for one day. I have more to say. I have already given you enough time. Furthermore, Mary is to be placed into the care of Reverend Carver. Now stand down. Oh no. That's not what we So, what happened? Did the little devil child get nailed? I saw Abraham, the my double. Child. He told the judge that Mary did nothing wrong, like she's the victim here. Okay, so now what? I'm not sure I did the right thing. I guess at least we know we can influence the outcome. That's gotta be good, right? I hope so. Seriously? We can change the friggin' past? Maybe?
Okay. Looks like we can make a difference, but we shouldn't get ahead of ourselves. Nothing here can be taken for granted. My barky boy. Whatever's out there, it still wants Taylor. We have to go. Now. Uh, let's see if we find anything interesting in here. If this is a factory, this might be the factory that the dad worked at. It would make sense. Yep, there you go. In memory of James Clark. So, this probably was his workplace. Anything interesting? Trouble for intoxication? Interesting. Get over here, and look at this. This is impossible. Oh, okay. I don't know how or why, but this town has more than one version of each of us. First, from the witch trials hundreds of years ago, and now this family in the 70s. What does all this shit mean? You think this family all died like the other versions of us? I'm more concerned about us getting killed than what happened to them. That's fair. I just don't get how any of this is possible. What the hell are you doing? No one's gonna believe this shit. I want proof that it happened. You're a professor. Explain that photograph to me. Wish I could. I don't know who those people are, or why they resemble us. Could this whole thing be some kind of crazy hoax? A photograph can be faked, but people from the past and those things chasing us? No. I guess. Pastor Carver's teaching strayed from true doctrine and piety. His mind wandered from the fellowship of saints and surrendered into sin over many years. Please attend to his past behaviors, which infect and corrupt the town. Ah, I ask a commission be appointed to examine such affairs of last year, including the matter of the girl. Yes, I think I am totally right. And I think he is evil. So Daniel thought we exciting. might all be dead. Yeah, neat theory, but I don't feel dead. Do you? We could have died in the crash, though, right? No, the the crash was. No yep, let a whole factory to close. Is there anything else interesting in that article? Okay, let me click it one more time. They just keep mentioning that the factory has closed. Oh! The decision was announced on Tuesday by Hazel Carver, 
a director in the family business that has been the primary employer in the town for over 160 years. With great sadness, we have made this decision. We consider the workers at the factory to be part of our extended family and know how much uh, Ravindan means to them, but we can no longer to con continue to run the business. Um, dialogue with the Carver family said McCarthy but while the daughters have been receptive to the union's ideas for saving the factory, Mayor Carver has rejected them at every turn, he went on. We want a partnership with the family to save their business and our livelihoods, but it seems as if the mayor does not accept partners. Another union worker who did not want to be identified expressed this bitter opinion. This is all about the land. The Carvers have owned the town for generations. If they can't profit from the land, they will shut it all down. As the main source of income for the majority of the town's families, many are worried what the future will bring. The factory closing will gut the town, one factory worker told the Herald, adding, we, and then it Oh, and then it says, bus drivers wanted, full training given, uniform provided. Interesting. Interesting. So, I wonder, bus drivers wanted, I wonder if... Multiverse? You somehow stumbled into a parallel world? I'm impressed you know about Wouldn't that make sense? And then, hey, is that a photo of the huh. boyfriend? Looks like a heartbreak Tanya to me. Vince. Yep. I'm guessing that's Tanya. That was the daughter's name, right? Oh, pieces are falling into place. What does that leave us with then? We're all dreaming? No, that doesn't add up. Some kind of collective delusion? Andrew, get over here and help me. What's up? I'll push from this end, you from the other. Okay. Everything you got. Professor, are you okay? Uh. Professor, are you hurt? Uh. I'm okay. Just about. Uh. No way back up. I'll look for a way out down here. Okay. We'll meet up at the back of the building. Sure. See you out there. Hey, Professor! We'll see you outside, okay? Is he okay? <clears throat> you were constipated for a second. Oh, that's funny. <gasps> Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to see more videos and I will see you later. Bye.